when you go after the general calling your specific calling will always become clear there's a difference between calling and a career a career is something you decide calling is something you discover calling is something is decided for you career is something you decide the Bible says whatever you do do as unto the Lord Bible doesn't mind you doing whatever works for you that's in line with your gifts with your talents with your personality as long as it makes money as long as it's not illegal and as long as it's not hurting somebody amen so career many people fast and pray God I want to know what you want me to do in a career honestly I don't think we should be praying and even fasting just ask the question is it illegal selling dope is so you can't answer to that question is very simple does it benefit other people with that career and number three you know doesn't make you money because playing video games probably doesn't make money so you can't be doing that as a career but a calling is not something you decide calling is something that God decides for you can somebody say amen? amen career is something that is natural calling is supernatural you don't need any anointing to do your calling and you don't need anointing I'm sorry you don't need any anointing to do your career you need anointing to do your calling in order to do your career you need to be educated you need to be connected and you need to like Ilya mentioned you need to constantly fill your mind with knowledge the moment you get educated the moment you get connected and the moment you use your gifts and sets next thing that happens is that your career will succeed even if you don't have a prayer life even if you don't have a fasting life your career will succeed and the same way is opposite is that if you have a calling and you're praying you will fulfill your calling but if you don't career doesn't become successful because you have a prayer life some of people who pray in tongues and they prophesy and everything but they're not good in their careers because it takes more than praying in tongues to succeed in your career career is something that's natural calling is something that's supernatural number three career is something that changes calling never changes you can always jump from one career to another you can start with being a manager and move on to being a CEO you can be a police officer a sheriff and start business with the daycare you can be a real estate broker a real estate agent and then start your own business you can always shift career is fluid based on the season based on the economy and based on the trends and things that make you successful in this culture that's why many of us who went to college we went in studying for one thing and then by the time we finish college we change our major three times and that's completely normal people say well i'm just undecided no that is normal career can change and you should never be afraid to jump from one thing to another whatever that's making you money and whatever that's helping you to become who god wired you to be but your calling never changes you never change it always remains the same whether you're in Potiphar's house or in jail or the prime minister of Egypt you still have the same calling can somebody say amen also a career is something that you do for money calling is what you do for eternity career is something that you do out of your ambition calling is your mission career is your platform calling is your purpose and career I like what Brian Houston said, career is what you are paid to do. Calling is what you are made to do. Career is what you are paid to do. Calling is what you were created or what you were born to do on this earth. Can somebody say amen? I was born for such a time as this. You were born for such a time as this. You were raised to deliver. You were called by God to be the person that you are in today, to be the light and the salt. But the career is the platform for the calling to become fruitful. If you don't have a platform, you have no place to exercise your purpose. And therefore, we go to college to build a platform. We get education so we can get a great job. We get a great job so we can get a great income. It gives us influence. It gives us connections. It gives us connections. It gives us relationships with people. And God gives us platform. When God helps us to get a platform, which we call our career, and that platform is not just to make us money. It's not just to help us develop a good retirement fund. But it's also so we can leverage that for the purpose of our calling. Can somebody say amen? Esther had a platform. Her platform was she was a queen. But the purpose for that platform was 
not to create a magazine to inspire little girls in Jerusalem that they can make it in life. Her goal in life wasn't to be an inspiration. Her goal was to be a salvation to her generation. See the problem with many of us today is that what we do is we, we take clues from the world and the world uses popular people, connected people, people who have thousands of followers on Instagram and Facebook, people who have a platform, people who have money and they say this, I want to be an inspiration. In the light of eternity, being an inspiration is the dumbest, stupidest idea in the world. When people are going to hell in hand baskets and they will be there for eternity and there you are saying, God help me to get to this level, I just want to inspire little girls. It's like giving a hot dog to a blind person walking to a cliff and patting yourself on the back that you started a charity ministry. In light of eternity, if there will be no heaven and hell, using your platform for inspiration is the best thing you can do with your life. But because there is heaven, because there is hell, because Jesus died not to inspire but to save. Because of that, it becomes our priority to use our platform not to inspire but to save. The fear that we have many times is that if I begin to use my platform for salvation, I will lose my platform. Actually, you have to understand one thing. Your platform will die with you only your purpose will outlive you. Your platform, no matter if you're afraid to leverage your platform for Christ and you're saying, I don't want to lose customers. And I'm not talking about that at your job, you get up and stand in front of the, on, on the reception desk and grab a microphone and say, repent for you will perish. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying every person you do a photo shoot with, you tell them the roadmap of salvation for five minutes and they say, now we're ready to do a photo shoot. I am not talking about that every client that you meet with you ask them where they're coming from and if they go to church but I'm saying you be fluid like water. Water doesn't need a big hole to come out of the bucket. It looks for a crack. It looks for a tiny little thing and it comes out. Many people are like rock when it comes to their purpose. They need a big opportunity. They need their client or the person they do business with to begin to cry and weep say my life is falling apart and only then they'll hear the Lord say maybe I should invite him to church. You're not a rock, you're a water, you're fluid, you look for opportunities, you create opportunities and even if it's a small crack, you drip, 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 but you'll come out. That's exactly how light comes out. Light doesn't look for, for big curtains to be open. You open it just a little bit and the light begins to come out. Not in a full measure, but in a little bit, but it will begin to come out. God wants you to leverage your platform for your purpose. Your platform will die with you your purpose will outlive you.